All right, we're here live with uh, Seattle John here in Tracy, California. Uh, Seattle, why don't you tell us a little bit about this basketball tournament and uh, what made you want to do it? Uh, well, basically, with the tournament, uh, with our main intention is basically, since we all do know Ramadan is coming up, so uh, first place prize of the charity goes to a charity, a Pantanal charity, $500. And uh, what they do is they uh, go to Afghanistan and help with the iftar dinners for certain villages, give like bags of rice and oil and whatnot, the essentials for uh, you know people to survive out there. So uh, it's kind of a, our main intention was for charity and also to get the youth together, the community, and just uh, I guess kind of promote the charity as excellent, well. Excellent, excellent. And are, are you playing on, uh, on one of the teams in the tournament as well? Yeah, we actually I'm a, also a player also in it. Uh, unfortunately, we just lost in the semifinals. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, so we do also play, and we got a, a brother, a bunch of brothers that play. And we, the juniors also we have championships for them as excellent. well. And uh, what, what would you want to say to the, to the youth out there that um, you know? They play basketball, they play football, they play all kinds of sports. Um, is there something that you would like to tell them in regards to, you know, uh, the types of things that they're going through and, and to overcome it? I mean, honestly, um, I mean, me personally, coming from uh, into America, uh, from Afghanistan, we didn't have too much chance. Our parents didn't really put us into a sports at a youth, but our next generation, um, I think, uh, has a better chance and uh, it kind of keeps you away from the other uh, negative things in life, uh, from drugs and uh, uh, partying and whatnot, and keeps you focused uh, on a competitive level. Uh, but there, you know, with any sport, there is like some arguments stuff that happens. But I guess to just kind yeah. of uh, keep it's part of the yeah, game. Exactly. It's part of the game. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's great, Sierra. Thank you so much for doing this, and uh, I'm really happy that you Definitely. took the initiative to also uh, donate to Afghanistan. That's great. That was one of the first things you mentioned. So, uh, really respect you uh, for that from Afghan Beat. And uh, we're looking forward to future uh, tournaments. And uh, that's great. Thank you. Salam alaikum Bahamagi. We're here again in Tracy, California at the Afghan basketball tournament. To my right, I have uh, Kai Saidar John. And to my left, I have Mustafa Asifi John. Um, these two gentlemen are actually on the Afghanistan national team. Um, they play today um, in the tournament as well. Uh, Kai Strong, why don't you tell me a little bit about the, the Afghan national team? Well, first off, where are you from? How old are you? I'm 26 years old, um, from Fremont, California. Okay. I've um, been playing basketball since I was about six. Nice, nice. And uh, yourself, Mr. Rissi? Yeah, I'm 26 years old as well, and I'm here from I'm from Tracy, California. And uh, how's everything going with the national team as of as of right now? Um, it's going good. We we actually just came back from a tournament in India a few weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, we lost in the championship, but um, it was a good stepping stone, something to build off of. Um, and I think the team's headed in the right direction. Excellent, excellent. And speaking of the right direction, uh, Mustafa, what do you feel about uh, how uh, tournaments like this have an effect on the Afghan community, specifically the youth? Do you think it's uh, I think, a good... I think that it, it brings the youth together. You know, they, people make new friends. Like, I didn't know Kais John until we played an Afghan tournament. Okay. That's where I met him. I was on a different team, and then we started talking, and we became friends, started playing together, and then eventually we got to the national team, and now we're, we're like brothers off the court. Wow. So wow. I feel like, you know, when we get together, the youth get together, they can talk. If people are from all over the place, like I was from Tracy, he was from Fremont, I didn't know who he was. So I met him actually at a tournament about seven or eight years ago. And so, uh, I mean, 
it brings the community together, something positive. People keep keeps the kids off the streets. You know, they're doing something athletic, and it brings you know everyone together, new friendships, families. Around. Definitely, um, unity is one of the biggest things of this tournament. Um, we have Afghans coming from all across different parts of the nation to play in these tournaments. Um, this tournament, there's teams from all over the Bay Area playing. Uh, there's actually another tournament coming up this um, Labor Day weekend in San Diego where we have teams from all across the U.S., wow. East Coast, West Coast, Canada. Um, so that's another big tournament. So that's the biggest thing is bringing the Afghan community together, uniting kids from different cities here in the Bay Area, putting everybody together. Um, it takes a tremendous amount of effort you know, to organize these tournaments. Uh, Seattle John and Masu John have done a great job of doing that Absolutely. and bringing the community together and giving the kids something to look forward to. Not just this actually one weekend of basketball, but it's pr weeks prior to this that kids go to work out and, and motivate them and something they can yeah, there, on their calendar. There's been quite a few uh, Afghan kids uh, that I haven't seen before that are really emerging and, and stepping up and playing really well. Definitely. definitely. Um, so what college did you guys go to? Um, I went to San Jose State. I graduated um, with a bachelor's in civil engineering. Civil engineering. And yourself was something? I also went to San Jose State and I graduated oh, okay. from uh, Spartans, huh? Okay. Yes, <laughs> Criminal justice, nice. And uh, just to end, is there anything that you guys would like to say to the youth or uh, anyone out there that's watching that uh, wants to, you know, be motivated? Any, any things that, that you guys like to say? Um, I mean, I just encourage the youth to come out, you know, practice. There's about two or three tournaments throughout the year. So, I mean, you continuously have something to look forward to. I mean, if you don't do good at one tournament, there's one three or four months after. So you have that time frame to go out there, work hard, lift weights. You know, meet up with your friends and do something positive. You know, stay out of the, stay out of the streets. Stay out of doing something stupid. Go to the gym, be with your friends, be with family, and then you can come out here and make new friends. You know, and if you you know work hard enough, you can get on the national team and you know travel the world for free. And I said that's just an excitement right there. Absolutely, criminal justice major right here. If anybody wants to, has any questions, we got you. <laughs> Kaishan, anything you'd like to say? To um, no, I think Moose pretty much hit it on the head. I mean, you know, just keep coming out, playing, let's bring the community together, let's have a good weekend together. Um, and this is a great transition into the holy month of Ramadan coming up in just a couple of days. Here. Absolutely. So um, just keep coming out and supporting these events. Excellent. Thanks so much Thank for you. taking the time to have me. this interview. You're very welcome. That's Afghan Beat, and uh, we're out. One, two. Check me out right here, yo. Yo, the sun don't shine forever, but as long as it's here, then we might as well shine together. Better now than never, business before pleasure, P. Diddy and the fam, who you know do it better. Yeah, right, no matter what, we air tight. So when you hear something, make sure you hear it right. Don't make an ass out of yourself by assuming our music keeps you moving. What are you doing? You know that I'm two levels above you, baby. Hug me, baby. I'ma make you love me, baby. Talking crazy ain't gonna get you nothing but choke. And that jealousy is only gonna leave you broke. So the only thing left now is God for these cats. And baby, you know you too hard for these cats. I'ma win cause I'm too smart for these cats while they making up facts. Up in the commission, you ask for permission to hit him. He don't like me, him and wild like he was with him. You heard of us, the murder of us. Let's keep pushing the tempo. Go, hey. They're tired, they don't want it, they've won it before. They don't want to this shit. We want this game. This is ours, okay? Confidence, confidence on three. One, two, three. Confidence. Let's go. Hey, listen, listen. One, two, three. Two minutes. It's up.
And you also MVP right here. Um, uh, what would you say was some of the challenges that you had to overcome in this game? Um, one of our biggest challenges is not having one of our best players, our national player, Harris. So um, we all knew that it was a big challenge to face without a star point guard. So it was a big everyone needed to step up, and we did. So the half game beat, and uh, we're over and out. Any shout outs, guys? Hello, mom. <laughs>